What's up guys, it's Tyler here. And today we're doing the promised two-factor authentication with the one-time time-based password implementation with Google Authenticator. I have published an article about this on my website a couple of weeks ago, so perhaps some of you guys have already seen it, but that doesn't matter, you can watch it now again. So this one-time time-based password method is a very convenient two-factor authentication method. It is much more convenient than the SMS verification method. However, for very important things like online banking and wallet, uh, from my perspective, an SMS password or SMS code is more suitable, safer. Um, perhaps that's the reason banks usually use that. But once again, for most stuff like logging into a website, a web app or your software, whatever you're doing, uh, this is the most convenient to go for. In this tutorial, I will be using PHP to complete this task. However, this does not mean that you have to be using PHP in the main uh, service you want to apply this to. You can use this as an interface for most projects. So if you're doing software, you can use the PHP as an interface and verify the authentication. In this particular video, as well as in my article, I was and am using PHP Gangsters Include because it is just as simple and convenient as needed. So I really recommend you to not reinvent the wheels unless you actually really need your own implementation directly into your project because it wouldn't be working else. For information, in order to really use this as a one-time password, in all means of the word, uh, you have to store a user's used code, at least for the relevant time, where you could potentially log in with the same code again, because then it's kind of useless if somebody is spying on you and they can just reuse the code because you didn't store it. So make sure to store it again, that's quite important. Actually, that's really important because otherwise it's not a one-time password. So yeah, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So, I got something prepared here, which is basically a folder with all I need. I got the PHP Gangster um, include stored within that folder. I have an Ajax folder for my login as Ajax. So, I'll be basically doing the same stuff I did in my article. So, we want to start off with the generate PHP page, because we need to generate, and I'm gonna, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the generate because basically we need to first generate our QR code and I need my phone ready. So yeah, just like me, make sure you have the Google Authenticator um, installed so you can scan your QR code and receive the codes. So I wanna start off with basic stuff in PHP. So first I'm gonna require once um, the PHP Gangsta Google Authenticator PHP file. And basically on the GitHub you can find a basic implementation which will help you. And this is actually pretty similar. So, Google Authenticator. And there we go. Now I'll create a secret, which is basically my Google Authenticator creating a secret. Okay, and now I'll just echo out the secret. And I also do the QR code for my Google Authenticator because it's far more convenient. It has a function which is called get QR code to Google URL, which is basically a Google service generating the QR code. And here we put a name, I'll put tutorial, which you will see in your app. Um, now it doesn't really matter because you can change it to some uh, whatever you want, but I recommend it calling something like your website, for example. Secret echo image source equals then my QR which is basically a URL 
and then all right I forgot something here okay and then just close and BR I don't think we need a BR so we are getting the code using the secret and that's how the app does it pretty much and result equals so we put again our secret this is what is basically our main function for logging in you will see uh, later um, we put in my secret we put in my code and a time interval how long this is uh, valid so yeah let's put re and there we go um, one is basically 30 seconds but it also says on the github so I want to echo out my result as well so I can see everything has been successful or not perhaps could happen I don't know okay so let me go to generate oh that's a huge one <laughs> and that's what she <laughs> said actually uh, once again so you got the immature jokes here so let me scan it there we go <laughs> so yeah we're done here oh yeah just make sure to copy this well I'll make sure to copy it because I need it I need it here so yeah um, let's go to our login because it's independent of the other stuff but the other stuff is uh, dependent on the login so yeah once again require oh I'm gonna put my code in here um, oh why all right uh, I was just thinking why do I put it there so basically um, l let me first require the stuff so we don't have to write that much and now I'm gonna say secret equals so this is hard coded right here this will all only work for me because this is my code or anybody who uses the same code basically knowing the code you can always generate um, the codes which are basically a true result and verification and I also want to get my verify code that's right my verify code put it here but before that I want to make sure that my post request is set and let's call it Google code now you can do stuff with it uh, in this step if you want to um, doesn't really matter on uh, yeah let's put this by the way into here so only create a new PHP gangster Google Authenticator when um, actually something is filled in and yeah the result basically is equal to J verify code oh here we have it doesn't matter and echo out the result of course you could just echo out this part and now instead of this I want to put oh yeah it's called just code so yeah just code we got secret free perfectly fine there we go and yeah this is pretty much it for the login now comes the most annoying part mainly because of Ajax um, yeah let's get my basic HTML title index don't know um, in my head I want to put nothing but in my body I want to put a div which is oh ID of login status because I want to show myself the status there we go and we say not logged in and now I want to make a second one which is basically the ID of login form login form like this and here we put something like my token so the token I'm entering input of the ID Google 
code and it's a text and another input of the ID submit sorry that was my phone perhaps you could hear it submit code there we go okay and now we need something which is basically jQuery I have prepared it here so we need a script script um, there we go source is the link I have prepared now you want to download this and put it on your server I put it here and another script which is also type JavaScript and here we put our Ajax using jQuery obviously so first I'm gonna look for my input which is called submit code code and the event will be on click and anonymous function right here where we oh before I forget this it will make me pain in the ass yeah we want to make a var for a google code now don't mess it up with thinking that it's enough because we first need to assign assign from the element input google code um, yeah it's value basically and now we're looking at if google code the length is greater than 4 and then we make a post request so this part is basically this post parameter and this part is basically our variable and now what we do with it anonymous function once again and don't forget to put the semicolon here anonymous function and so if the result oh yeah result if the result is equal equal one now obviously we have successfully logged in and we can change exclamation mark and what I'm gonna do as well is hide okay so else if it's not we can say that login failed and yeah now it should be working for testing let's go to this website not logged in why is it so big Oh, it's zoomed for 200. Okay, that makes sense. So, why does it have... Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. At this point, I called this text, but it's submit, so it should fix it. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my phone, grab my token... Put my token in, just wait for the new one. Okay, there we go. 877. Oh right, let's see what happens when I put garbage in. Login failed. Now I oops put the right one in. Still login failed. How does that happen? Mm, let me move this somewhere here. Um oh I'm getting a warning for no such file. Alright directory issues here my friends so now all right let's continue with the debugger there we go so now all right let's see if this one works oh yeah it worked so basically we're two codes further but the old one still works so this is because we're looking for one and a half minute and yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting a lot from the tutorial, I think. 
because 17 18 minutes is really really long for this simple stuff so yeah i see you guys next time peace out